Sally Hancock here to decorate my Traveler's Notebook for October. I know it is a little bit late, but I had a super busy end of September, beginning of October going on, so this is the first chance I have to get in here. Oh, I forgot what that was. Okay, so first things first is usually to do the cut aparts. Now, she used part of the papers for the covers in her pockets too. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim those up right now. I've got my trimmer out. And I'm gonna take off the product strip first. And she actually used the buffalo plaid um, for the cover, not the pumpkins. So we need those. Eight and a quarter. So I'll cut it this way. Shoot that straight in there. Put that aside. Later. And do the same for this one. So this one has cute stripes and cute polka dots. So you need to think about which way you want your stripes to go if you want them vertical or horizontal. I think I like them going horizontal. So I need to make sure that I cut it this way. Eight and a quarter. Okay, now with my trimmer, put that aside, and let's get started. Oh, I forgot. I need to cut these strips into pieces that are four inches. So I think she used two of these stripy ones. trimmed them to the size that is needed. And I think just one of these. So just one of those. Okay, now I'm done with my trimmer. Okay. So in the top pocket is this cute October 31st card. Just the October shows mostly. And then this cute little bat, happy haunting. That is just gonna show just to get some of that pretty green up there in that pocket. And then we're gonna do some fussy cutting of this witch and the skeleton. Okay, and then she's gonna go right here. Have her poking out a ways, because they want to see the cute kitty. Okay, and then the spoo card. I'm gonna use this cute, and we're gonna have to trim it a little. Let's see how much. How we got? This much. Put that in there behind the skeleton. Like 
that. Or maybe poke it out. Because you could only see the opt. Like that. There. There we go. And... <laughs> trimmed paper. Where did I put those? Oh, golly. There they are. The polka dot. It's going to go behind the witch, so let's see how much we need to trim of that one. So much of the skeleton is covered up. Make sure to not have that card go down in the pocket like it was. There we go. Perfect. Okay, then do 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 do. Then this green checkered is gonna go in the bottom pocket. Obviously, we're going to need to fold quite a bit of that. And we'll get that put in right here. Okay. And then we need to fussy cut this cute little pumpkin. Just like that. All right, so now we need to do our outlining of the cards. Now, we can add our little leaf that we had in our September page. And we've got a purple one. Um... Very glittery. Very glittery. It's not going to show very much, but that's okay. All right, now our stickers. This time it was a 6 by 12 sheet. And we have the bat. It's going to go right here and a star Let's go next to the October and then absolutely spooktacular it's gonna help hold this little witch in put it right across her hat and a little star next to the witch right there and a spider this cute spider here is gonna go on top 
off of the pumpkin stem right there. I'll help hold him in. And put this really cute, oh, this trick or treat went right there. Maybe I'll kind of put it on top of my sparkly leaf like that. Okay, so then the bottom is going to get this cute boo. Make sure my glitter is off so it'll stick. layer those up a little. Looks cute like that. And then this cute little spider with the little web can be hanging off the O like that. That's cute, cute, cute. And then we're going to add tricks and treats down here like that. Okay. And that is it for our pockets, except one thing I forgot. I'll be right back. Okay, so what Leo did was use some um, stickles, which I do not have on some of the elements, but I do have this Wink of Stella and I can't tell if it's silver or plain. Oh, I think it's just clear. So she used it on these leaves on the pumpkin. So I'm just going to use my Wink of Stella to give it a little bit of shimmer. And this star. Ooh, that looks really different on the sticker. And now I do not remember what else she used it on. Um, I'm going to just put it in the witch's hair. I don't remember what she did. But we'll just do our own thing. Sparkly witch hair would be cute. There we go. Okay, we'll let that dry a little bit. Now for the inserts, I am leaving this slip cover in because I thought it would still go pretty good with the Halloween theme. And I'm going to set this aside to dry. And here's my two inserts I want to cover. Okay, so the first one she used um, this stripe. So, or there's these super cute polka dots too. I I want them both, but it's kind of hard to do both, I guess, all the time. Can't have everything right. It is trained that way. I guess this one will just stick out a little bit. It'll be okay, right? I don't think it will matter in the end. I can find the end of my washi. There we go. Ah, oh, wow, that's not straight either. Okay, so this one, we are going to start with this cute tag that says, give me all the candy. Put on like that. 
Oh, I should have put it down just a little bit. I forgot. There's this cute banner. To go. Oops, I didn't stick that right in my Winko Stella. Okay, that fits just about perfect. And then do, do, do this cute happy Halloween. Go right here. And then this big star. Let's put you right there. And then two little stars right by him. There we go. And that is it, except for, of course, the outlining. That really adds a cute touch to it. There's the first one done. Now our second one. I thought she'd use these cute pumpkins, but she's a cute buffalo check. And I thought, well, I'm going to use the pumpkins, but then the way she decorated it, it would not look as cute with the pumpkins. The little vampire is going to go down first, but I'm just going to gently put them down because we're going to overlap them a little bit. This cute witch, we're going to put the hand under and the cat on top. And then this cute mummy will go next to the witch. Maybe kind of over her broom, but behind the pumpkin. There we go. Oh, those are so cute. Okay. And we're going to put this cute bat up here by the vampire. And then we're just going to use some word strips. Fangs for the memories. And spooks and spirits. We're actually going to put this one on first. Put that right underneath them. And then the fangs for the memories. There we go. And that is it for that one. So, I'll put these in. This one first. Oh, heart just doesn't quite go, but I just can't get it out. I guess I could cut it. And then this one can be a second. Oh, so cute. Oh, my washi is not sticking. Let's see if we can get that to stay a little bit better. Oh, that looks cute with the wink of Stella in the light. Cute, cute. Didn't work very good on the sticker, but the cardstock pieces look cute. Okay, so now what is also added was this cute little spider, which is a wooden piece to make a cute paper clip. And um, she just left the back plain and that kind of bothered me. I wanted some um, black felt, but 
I couldn't find any black felt. I have this green felt, so I think I will, I think I will just kind of make a circle, kind of, to just cover up the back. I don't need to cover up the whole bits of the spider. So I, let's get my scrap paper. And glue and everything. So you can just kind of hook this over this pop dot. I think I'll take the cover off. Or the you know, undo the sticky and undo the sticky of the felt. That will not be enough to hold, I don't think. Oh, that is really sticky though. Holy moly. There we go. Okay, so I'm using my Loctite Crafters glue. And I think I'm just going to kind of stick it on there. Maybe it'll come out. There's, there's a big globby. I'll just use my finger to kind of, uh, kind of spread that around a little bit. Get my felt piece. Oh, I think I should have made my felt piece a little bit bigger, but that's okay. I think it'll still look okay. All right, and then I can use this paper clip for the front or inside my inside my traveler's doll book, and I just need to let that dry probably overnight. And that's it. I've still. She showed how to make a like an extender. Just tie this. She gave some elastic and just tied it in a knot. And I don't know if you've ever seen that, but there's a way. Oh shoot, my sticker is bent. Um, there's a way to make it to where you can add an extra. So if you have four in here already and you want a fifth or a folder or something, you can use this and like hook. You can put it together like this on your covers of two inserts and then you can fit more in. But I don't need more in right now, so I'll just save this elastic. I th I'm thinking of making a folder or a pocket or something or a shaker, cute, to go in here, but here is one insert, and here is the other one, and the cute pockets, and oh, I forgot, I better put some tape down, because these ones are not in here very good, let's see, those are stuck, I think, I think that'll be good, but that is it, so, Turned out really cute and so fun for Halloween. Love Halloween, so this was a really fun project. So thank you for watching. And oh, I have my cute, show my cute paper clip too. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.